In this video, here I am going to show you how to information into room database. So here I am going to use fragments for each database operations. So now here I am going to add a home fragment. So right click the application folder and create a new fragment. Here I name it as home fragment. So here the fragment is created. Now here I am going to add the need.user interface for the fragment. So here I add the need.user interface for the home fragment. Uh, here I place four buttons. First one for add new user. Uh, second one for view the users. Third one for delete a particular user. And final one is for update a user. So this is the components for home fragment. Now we need to add this home fragment to the main activity. So now we can close these files. Now open main activity. Uh, first we need to place a container for fragments inside the main activity layout file. So open activity main.xml. Uh, now select layouts and uh, drag a frame layout. Now specify the constraints. Uh, here I specify constraints on all sides. Okay, now uh, specify an ID for the frame layout. Here I name it as fragment container. So this is the container for fragment inside activity main.xml with ID fragment container. So now we can add the first fragment to the fragment container. So go to main activity. First here I am going to create some variable. Uh, it is fragment manager. I name it as fragment manager. Now we can initialize that variable. So fragment manager equal to uh, get support fragment manager. Okay. So now here I am going to add the first fragment to the main activity. So first check the condition if find the view by id r dot id dot fragment container not equal to null now here check the second condition that means if the activity resume is state so in that case save the instance state not equal to null uh, in in that situation simply return now here I am going to add the fragment to the uh, container. So fragment manager dot begin transaction. Specify the container. Uh, here it is fragment container. Now specify the fragment. It is home fragment. Now commit the transaction. So this will add the home fragment to the main activity. So now test the application. So now here the application available on the virtual device. So inside main activity we place the home fragment. So when user click the add user button we need to add the user information to the database. So for adding a new user here I am going to create another fragment. So create another fragment. Here I name it as add user fragment. So now the fragment is created. Now here I am going to add the user interface for add the information of the user to the database. So here I add the needed user interface for adding a new user to the database. Uh, here I add three edit text, user ID, name and email and here we have a save button. So this is the first edit text, user ID with uh, ID txt user ID. Uh, this is for name txt name, this is for email txt email and we, we have a button with ID B and save user. Okay, so when user click the 
add user button on the home fragment so when user click the add user button on the home fragment we have to display the add user fragment so that is the next thing so now we can close all these things now open the home fragment so here uh, we need to add some variables so before going to do that we can open the layout for the home fragment so this is the home fragment this is the first button add user button with id uh, bn add user so first here i create some view object and delete on that view from this method okay so now create some variables for button bn add user okay now we can initialize that variable bn add user equal to uh, view dot find view by id or dot id dot uh, bn add user that is the id of the button okay now for this fragment here i'm going to implement an interface called on click listener now we need to implement one method the on click method so here we implement the on click method so now we can register the listener for the button so bn add user dot set on click listener into this okay so here uh, we can check which button is actually clicked by the user so for that here i start a switch case statement so you dot get id now specify the first case if r dot id dot bn add user in that case we need to display the add user fragment uh, so we can call the variable main activity uh, fragment manager dot begin transaction okay here uh, we are going to replace the fragment so call the replace method r dot uh, id dot fragment container now specify the fragment name here the fragment is add user fragment also we need to add this transaction to the backstack so add to backstack into null and finally we can commit the transaction okay uh, now uh, we can break the case so break it okay so now we can check it okay now here the application available on this virtual device if i click the add user button it will open the fragment called the add user so from this fragment we can add information to the database so now we can close all these things close all now we can open the add user fragment uh, we can open the corresponding layout fragment add user so here uh, we have a uh, three edit text and one button uh, so here we need to declare uh, the needed variables so here i initialize all the needed variable here i create uh, three edit text variable user id username user email uh, here create a variable for button and here I initialize all that variables so now we need to create some click listener for the button so bn save dot set on click listener so now uh, we need to get the information from the user interface so here get the user information from the edit text uh, get the user id into this integer variable called the user id it is an integer and we get the username from the edit text and here is the user email so now we can add this information into the database for that just open main activity so here i'm going to create some variables public uh, static here our database class is my app database uh, create an object for that one my app database now here i'm going to initialize that variable so my app database equal to 
uh, room door uh, you have to call this method uh, database builder so first parameter is the context get application context second one is the database class name here it is my app database dot class and third parameter is the database name here i name it name it as user db and finally you need to call the method build okay so by using this object we can perform the database transactions now go to the add user fragment.java so from here we can perform the data insertion so main so first here i'm going to create an object of the entity class so user equal to new user now add the information to this object so user dot uh, set id uh, user id uh, user dot uh, set name uh, it is user name now email user dot uh, set email it is email user email okay so now we can save this information into database so main activity dot uh, my app database and get the data access object so we can call this method my data access object by using that object we can call this method add user and pass the object user so this will put information into the database so now display an information to the user user added successfully in the short now display the test okay so after the database insertion we can clear the uh, edit text so user id dot set to text into null uh, user name dot set to text null user email dot the text into null okay so now we can test the application okay run the application uh, now the application available on this virtual device now try to try to add a new user specify a user id now specify name of the user now specify email okay so now i'm going to save this information but here this app is going to crash i will show you what is the reason now try to save so here the app is crashed because we can check the lockout window so here we have an error called uh, i will i will read that exception cannot access database uh, on the main thread since it may potentially lock the ui for a long period of time that means by default the room database does not allow to access the database operation on the main thread so here i try to perform the data write operation on the main thread that is not allowed by the uh, room database you have to use other api like async task or rx android to save information to save the to run the database operation on a separate background thread so here the app crashes because i try to perform the database operation on the main thread that is not a good programming practice so for training purpose now here i am going to uh, allow the database operation on the main thread for that here uh, you need to call one method on the database builder object so here uh, you just call this method allow main thread queries this will allow uh, database operation on the main thread now we can test the application again i run it again Uh, now try try to add a new user specify the user id into 121 specify name of the user into pravish now specify email pravish123 at apc.com okay uh, now save the information so now here it shows uh, we successfully add the information to the database so this is how we put information into the 
uh, room database in Android. In the next episode, here I'm going to show you how to read information from the database.